them know we're coming in. Here girls. We've got 10 acres, we've got 14,000 birds. Just in this shed here is 9,000. This is obviously our largest shed. Our birds have the opportunity to come outside when we raise our doors up and it, always in about the mid-morning. Um, they're able to then go out and have a bit of a peck and play around outside. We've given ourselves the name of being a bit of a boutique farm and just having the smaller farm means that for us everything's hands-on. We pick up all our own eggs, we grade them, we pack them. For the size that we have down here, it being small is good for us. So your dad's running the business at the moment and you're looking to take over the reins from him. What's some things that you're wanting to learn? My dad's given me so much knowledge um, and every day I'm learning something new. So I think if I could get half as much as what he's taught me to pass on to maybe perhaps the next generation, I'd be very happy. So all these eggs are laid fresh this morning. They've run off our belt from the shed that we were just in. So our grading machine here is just giving us the weight of the different eggs. It's a family affair down here. I've got my cousin Bree, my uncle Brian and my dad's behind me. And I've also got another uncle on the farm and then my nan, but she's out playing bingo at the moment. So in our largest shed, we average about 8,000 eggs a day. What do you think of other farms such as Cage or Barn? I think that all the farms are essential for the industry and I think that for consumers to have the choice for the three is the best thing. So we have a shop here at the farm, we have a lot of walk-ins and they will come down and they can pick our eggs up from us, usually that were freshly laid this morning. While the township of Munster has changed, traditions rule the roost here at the Wilsons Farm. We're located in one of the fastest growing suburbs and we're very fortunate that people are able to just jump in their car. They love to bring their kids along and they love for the kids to be able to come down and have a look at the hens in the paddock. I think it, it's good education for the kids to see exactly where their eggs are coming from. And as well just to be able to tell them that you know their eggs are coming from happy hens who are out in the paddock and they're well looked after. And the farm being started by your great-grandfather, he didn't always have just the chooks. What else did he have on this place? Yeah, so we had some racehorses as well. We've still got a couple left, a couple of the old favourites. Why did you decide to leave the city?